ready for the last match of the night. Heavyweights, freshman Tony Nelson going up against junior Blake Raising, the Gophers versus the Hawkeyes, a border war for the championship. Here's their path to the finals. Nelson coming up from the fourth seat. Raising coming from the third seat. One and two, they're out of the mix. Let's hear from our finals. Tony, you're resting well. You took out the number one seed. You're a redshirt freshman, so uh, got a lot of youth on your side. What are your feelings going into the uh, national tournament? Um, well, you know, especially just coming into this tournament, I was, uh, you know, really excited where I was because I wrestled well against Wade earlier, and um, you know, this time, you know, I worked hard on what he did and beat me on last time. So I was ready coming in this tournament, and then advancing to the national tournament. I guess it just really excites me, um, especially making it to the finals of the Big Ten. It knows I can really compete because the Big Ten conference is one of the best. Blake, you're having a great year. Um, last year you had some time in, but you weren't the, the the starter at the end. Now, had a full year in the lineup. You're in the Big Ten finals. Um, what are your thoughts? Uh, you know, I started off the season maybe not getting what exactly what I wanted. I went one and two at Midlands and uh, definitely started off the year slow, but uh, I'm feeling a lot of a lot of confidence and feeling good. You know, really taking uh, every match one at a time and being uh, just kind of taking the pressure off and you know just worrying about one match every day. So. Here's your team standings. A three-point lead for Penn State. Iowa trailing by three. If Raising wins, he gets four. But don't forget about Cameron Wade. He's going up against Ben Applin from Michigan, who he pinned the last time they met in the dual meet, and he's defeated him twice this year. Cameron Wade, Penn State, trying to match whatever Raising does. Two winning efforts with regular decisions. Go, There's Blake Raising. It'll be a tie if one of them Ups the uh, trumps the other with a major decision or an extra point. That'll be the winning extra point for the team. Blake Raising, Tony Nelson, the heavyweight match, the Big Ten Championships. And it's a rematch of the finals of the, of the dual meet here just a little while ago, two weeks ago at the up in uh, Minneapolis, where Raising was able to go ahead and win. Close match. Kind of uh, picked it open late in the match with a a pretty good uh, lake shot. So raising uh, deceptive as far as how strong he is. He's got a really strong core. His legs are huge, pretty tough in the top position. And of course, uh, everybody's been impressed with uh, Tony Nelson in this tournament. Uh, just his stature as a freshman. Uh, you mentioned too, Lee, that it wouldn't be difficult to put another 20 pounds on that frame. Solid muscle. He's solid right now for a redshirt freshman. Absolutely. But continues in that tradition of great Minnesota heavyweights. You know, they have had some great heavyweights. You know, Brock Lesnar being probably the most famous came come out of that program. But Cole Conrad, the two-time champion. Garrett Lowney. Yeah. Benjamin Shelton. They've had some good ones. And, they, and the thing about this is that, I uh, said this before, but uh, he's done a nice job of making the team, beating out Ben Burhau, who was a starter, who's really got, a, uh, as a senior, did a great gas tank, would go out there and battle, and give everything he had. Could easily could be a, a, weight, a, a guy who would be in this situation here in the finals as well. So great competition in the room has brought Tony Nelson to this point. Having a tough room is uh, almost a prerequisite to you know being uh, in, a, in a contention for a team title like Iowa and like Penn State. Both of those schools have good tough rooms. Yeah, and what I liked when I heard from the interview is that uh, the doing that Penn State Iowa meet that that, that uh, Nelson had some things to. Uh, to work on. He had been beat by Cameron Wade, who was the number one seed, and also been beat by Raising. So you can tell that when you take this young man back in the in the wrestling room, he's going to work on what one you minute. work with what, what, what the uh, new techniques you're trying to employ because it showed up here in this tournament. I don't know about his head. He was looking like he was going to have a little fade as a, as a freshman and came back and got to the finals. Tim. Cameron Wade has back points and a takedown over there, so he's jumped out to at least a 5-0 lead. 30 seconds left in that first period down there as we keep you up to date on the mat next to it. There's Cameron Wade. There's the Penn State Big Ten Wrestling brought to you by the Big Ten Network, and we give you the action where it's at when it means something. And right now, it's never meant more. Penn State out in front now 5-0 there. Cameron Wade over Ben Applin from Michigan as the time ticks down the first period. 
He wins 15. by a major decision. Racing wins by a regular decision. Penn State will win by the narrowest of math margins, their first ever Big Ten championship. I can remember one year, I'm not, Jim, you may remember the year that Iowa won the team title by like a half a team point, was it, or something like that? The national title? Yeah, the national title. That was title. 1978. They won by a quarter point. That, that started the nine-year string that, that Coach Gable had. It was in 1978. Your, uh, uh, Red Riding what year was that up. for you? 78, my senior year. Senior, yeah, your senior year. Quarter point. Look at uh, the closest of margins. When That's you look when at that. uh, Coach Nichols threw the towel in for Frank Santana, yeah. right? And he wrestled Frank... my uh, college roommate, uh, Kelly, <laughs> Kelly Ward. He was yeah. your roommate. Yeah. Oh, Kelly and I, boy, I can. Yeah. He had a 9 8 match. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was yeah. one point. It was actually it was 10 8. I, I yeah, got to yeah. get that extra point in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him know. He's probably he's watching. Yeah. I was ahead, actually, 8 to 1 going into the last yeah. period. He came storm back. Escape for beat. raising. Escape for raising. He goes out in front 1 0. Raising from Iowa needs to win. You know, it, the thing I like about what I've seen with raising is that these. Uh, He'll, he'll go in on that uh, that, that leg. I mean, doesn't look like he shoots very much, but uh, he does switch it up a little bit. He'll he'll go to one side and the next, and he's pretty deceptive. But he's pretty tough in the top position. For him to get out with, with, in 20 seconds, that's a that's a big advantage because he is tough in the top position. Coaching one minute left in the second period, the score: Cameron Wade on the other mat against Ben Applin, 6-0, and Wade has riding one time. One minute. He's close. One minute. Less than a minute left in the second period. He's on his way to a major decision. Here's the heavyweight ranking. Zach Ray been there all year for Lehigh. Gerard Trice from Central Michigan having a great year. The Intermat rankings. And we thank you for the sponsorship and partnership of Intermat with the Big Ten Network. 40 seconds left in the second period. Blake Raising from New Hampton, Iowa, out in front of Tony Nelson, redshirt freshman. And raising kind of exemplifies the, the, the type of guys that Iowa's been doing it with this year. Guys who've been in the room for a while, maybe didn't have uh, the, the years that they wanted or got beat off the team last year, uh, but came back 30. this year, stayed with the program, stayed disciplined, and stayed true to their goals. And now he's wrestling for a Big Ten championship and has a great chance of becoming an All-American. A lot of the Iowa wrestlers, though, you know, when you make the team, you have a, a strong 15, chance of being 15 on the national championship seconds. team. Yeah, 15 seconds, short time, an advantage for raising. Fight in. Nelson, what a nice freshman year. He didn't have the spot when we started. Burhau, very accomplished. He got three. He got about three uh, seconds. Really pushing the spot. He's a very uh, fine heavyweight himself, Ben Burhau. Tony Nelson gaining the spot. He's from Cambridge, Minnesota. Cambridge Sante ah. High School. End of the second period, we begin the third and final period, the heavyweight match. Tom Brands, what a coaching job he's done. This is a pivotal part in the match right now. Okay, raising is the, actually Nelson from Minnesota has had a difficult time getting out from the bottom position. And Minnesota staff is one of the best at working with their big guys into getting back pressure and coming back away. So let's see if he executes it. Right now he looks a little slow on it. 8-0. Wow. All right. yeah. Heavyweight stand-up. Cameron Wade out in front, 8-0. But remains this way, and it remains this way. It will be Penn State winning by a half a point. <laughs> Somebody's got to open up a little bit here, you know. Uh, and, 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 and of course, Raising would have to win for Iowa to come that close. He wins, he gets four points. If Cameron Wade wins, uh, by a major decision, he'll get a point and a half. Penn State leads by three right now. You do the math. And so far, Nelson's been able to hold position. Nelson likes to attack to his left. He likes to hit that lead leg shot. So far, these guys are just settling for deep collar ties on each other, going ear to ear. The difficult thing about that is that you can feel what your opponent's going to do. It's really tough to break free and get to a corner. There's a nice there, shot. There's a shot you were talking about. Yeah. Jim, there was a shot. And, it, yep. and, and he's keeping great motion. Whoa. Whoa. Looks like it hurt. Time out. Time out. Time out. The official, Joe Topper, just a little. Something happened there. Yeah. There's a problem with his Two right knee right there. Two near fall. And a, you know, 
Now, if he, if he forfeits. That, that's six points for Iowa, and that would make it a different. Let's take we a look it. at the shot. I think See, they did. We're looking at the knee. It's the knee that was hurt was the, le the leg that has been attacked right now. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, when he when he probably when he popped Ooh. right there, when it he extended. tried to do a little crackdown right there, triple motion. That's what uh, it hyperextended a little yeah. bit there. And we didn't even bring that scenario into play. Hopefully, it will 30, not come into play. Watch, watch the crack back motion here, guys. Right here, cracks the, cracks back goes there. right there. The leg straightened a little bit too much. Hyperextended. It didn't look like it actually. Went out or anything from from here. But, We're at about you know, 45, 45. Tell me if you're ready. His facial expressions. That he, that, uh, it's your time. Caught on that. There's a medical uh, injury default situation. If you have that, One that's minute, an extra two right? team points. Ready? All right. What you think is 58? And the decision would be an extra 58. point. And so. 58, and Cameron 58 Wade does get that extra point. He gets two instead of one. So right now, Penn State is out in front by five. Penn State is out by front in front by five because Cameron Wade has won. He got the major decision. That's an extra point. I had mentioned a half. That comes into play with the tenth four. But it's an extra point. So right now, well, really, if you're if, if you're Stewart is what the team score is. You gotta go for it. You want raising to go ahead and go for uh, he's in no man's land. Do I go ahead 30. and work for the title, which he's never achieved before? Or do I go for the big move? For the team. We are real time. There's your 15, score. 15, 15 seconds. Iowa 134. If it remains right like this, it'll be 139 to 138. Penn State will win their first ever Big Ten title since joining the conference in 1991. Blake raising, looking like he's in good position to win his first Big Ten title. And he will win an individual title. And Penn State will win the championship with 138 points. As far as it, there's Penn State. They are excited. Excited. And rightly so. Let's go to Jim. Thanks, Tim. Here I'm with Blake Racing. And Blake, I uh, tell you what, you did a wonderful job sticking with it, sticking with your goals, and now you're a Big Ten champion. Yep. I mean, we're a cool season for something like this, but got one more stage to go. So. Right. Well, congratulations on your title. It was a tough match, hard fought match. You did a great job on that shot. Yeah, I mean, felt it, got in there, been in there before, uh, you know, three, four times against him. Felt it, and, uh, you know, so. Well, I know all the people back in Algona are awful proud of you. New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah. Take Hampton. care. Yep. Blake Raising, your heavyweight champion for the Iowa Hawkeyes, the head bookend champions. Mac McDonough wins at 125. Blake Raising wins at heavyweight. We'll be back to wrap up this close team title for Penn State over Iowa.